Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into this video with me today. Well, it has been a long time since I have <laughs> uploaded a doll video. Life just got in the way, you guys. Life just got in the way. Since my last upload, a lot of exciting things have happened. I have a brand new job, a big job. I'm working in um, big tech for the first time in my career. Lincoln and I got married. We moved to a new home. I am very sad that I haven't been able to film so much, but Wow, uh, the new job is very demanding. Um, I'm sorry that I kept you waiting. I can't promise that I'm gonna be here as often as I want to be, but I'm really gonna try to come up with some new videos and uh, have some fun new content for you. Today's video is very exciting. Um, Mr. Robert Tonner himself reached out to me a couple of months ago about a new project that he's working on with Sideshow Toys. Sideshow then reached out to me and sent me three dolls from the brand new collection. I am so, so very excited to take a look at these dolls with you guys today. Thanks again to Sideshow Toys and thank you to Robert Tonner. I feel like I'm coming out of like semi-retirement to do this video for him, but there are three dolls in this collection. We have mixed media, we have stargazing, and finally we have romantic notion. Along with the fashion dolls that are fully dressed, you can also buy the fashions separately in case you happen to have a Robert Tonner doll that fits this style of clothing. The dolls are all 16 inch fashion dolls and they are very small uh, quantities. They're limited to 250 per doll. So definitely a collector's piece. All the dolls have amazing backstories as all of Robert's dolls do. I have not looked at any of the dolls in their boxes. <laughs> They've been sitting here for uh, a couple of months now, I believe, uh, very patiently waiting for their time in the spotlight. So. Um, without further ado, let's get going. All of the dolls come just like this in big mailers that say a sideshow on them uh, with a logo that reminds me of my good old Superman logo. And then when you open them up, the doll box is inside just like so and comes out just like so. It's a beautiful, beautiful box design as well. Uh, we have gorgeous cream color covers with a black band that goes across the front uh, with the name of the doll um, on there as well. And then Robert's new logo down here at the bottom left. So all these dolls are actually a uh, joint venture, I believe perhaps, <laughs> between Robert Tonner and a company called Atomic Mist. So that's actually the other logo that we see down here. And here on the back of the box, uh, we see a beautiful like glossed over tone on tone sketch of the doll. Exciting, really beautiful presentation. I am so excited to get into these dolls and check them out with you guys. I wasn't given a ton of information about the collection and the dolls, except for what's listed on Sideshow's website. Um, so what I think is happening is Olivia Chase, the Tonner character, is moir so she's basically like shape-shifting from one doll to the next which we love <laughs> all right let's go ahead and start with stargazing shall we Ooh, and look the sides of the box um have like little sketches which is so so gorgeous love that there is a piece of foam that's sitting right on top to protect the doll um almost acts like a bit of tissue paper shall we say <laughs> one two and three. <gasps> Oh my God. So immediately I'm like so drawn to this beautiful light blue dress or gown of hers, shall we say. Um, it has the most gorgeous, very elaborate detailed embroidery on here. I see a little bit of bead detail um, on the embroidery. It's a beautiful sheer three-tiered gown. On the right side, I see her beautiful shoes. Oh my goodness, how fun. Oh, look at the little flower detail on there and the pearl detail, oh my goodness. I also see her earrings in here. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Oh my God, how fun. I really love the inside of this box detail here. How cool, like you wouldn't know until you opened it up that there are sketches of her on the side. <laughs> Let's get her out of this box. Love these shoes so much. Ooh. I am just going to very gently pick her up here from this box. Uh, she's packaged in the way that I have known Robert's dolls to be packed in this beautiful uh, foam that is uh, cut out just for her. And then we see her doll stand here um, on the inside of the box. It has been so long since I opened up a doll, you guys. Like, it's so disappointing. I feel like I don't even recognize myself anymore. Oh, wow. She is weighty 
and just beautiful. She feels very similar to Grace, um, who I reviewed from the Virtual Doll Convention. She feels just the same, like very, very smooth, beautiful toning of the muscle, um, just a gorgeous sculpt. Robert really, really is about his sculpts and this does not disappoint, let me tell you. I mean, I really am loving this like ultra sheer moment, right? Okay, let's go ahead and take this hairnet off as well, just like that. Oh my God, yes, hairdo, come through, okay. <laughs> Have to get a look at these shoes out of the plastic bag. My God, they're so pretty. <gasps> Wow, I love. I wonder which one's left and which one's right. I'm gonna say the pearl is pointing outward, so we'll just go with that. <laughs> Here is Stargazer Miss Olivia Chase um, as moi, uh, up close and personal so that you guys can get a better look at her beautiful uh, little details. Her earrings are just gorge. They are a very simple clear stone. They have a little drop on them as well, all in silver. The little drop has a little uh, gem detail on there as well. Her makeup is so, so pretty. I love that glossy pinky beige lip. Her blue eyes are just gorgeous. She does not have any kind of three-dimensional lash detail, like applied or rooted or anything like that, but the paint is really, really, really phenomenal, I think. Um, her brows are gorge. We see a little flush of blush there as well. Her hair is so, so pretty. It's like a really deep red. And look at this do, you guys. Yes, mama, I am living. Very, very beautiful. Uh, fully rooted hair. Um, it feels very soft to the touch. It doesn't feel super gelled or anything like that but I do very much appreciate the neatness of this. And then scrolling down, we see her beautiful gown. There are three layers on this gown. Uh, they are all the same fabric. It feels very much like a very light cotton blend, almost like a crepe uh, texture to it, which is very pretty. Very, very translucent, very airy, very beautiful. The embroidery detail on here is gorgeous. It's like little groupings of flowers with a little vine attached. And then we see little silvery uh, bead detail there at the center of the little flower clusters. Um, the tailoring is lovely. Um, everything is finished off quite nicely. Uh, the stitching is the same color as the fabric, which we appreciate. Um, it is darted here in the front to give her a little bit of shape here at the bust. Um, a very simple silhouette. I love the strap detail here in the back. We see a little bit of organza ribbon holding that, uh, the two front straps together. And then here in the back, we see some uh, snap closures, it looks like, silver snap closures. And then we see that this layer right here actually is split in two, um, probably so that we can get the gown on and off of her relatively easily. Um, we see the lined up center seam going down all the way here in the back. Just lovely. Beautiful, beautiful shoes. Just absolutely love. It's a peep toe Dorsey pump style um, with some really beautiful jewel detail here at the front, which is just so gorgeous. It's like a little cluster of flowers, a little butterfly, a little pearl accent there. Just lovely. I love, I love, I love. And then the gown uh, and the shoes are in this same beautiful, almost periwinkle type of color. We see that the shoes have a beautiful beige sole to them, along with a little corresponding heel tap. So definitely giving us the feel of a designer shoe. The pantyhose are beige colored, same color as her skin. And they go all the way up here. And then we see, uh, this is a little bit interesting to me. I'm not sure what the thought process was behind this particularly, but it looks like it's a white, uh, very cottony feeling uh, panty that's attached to the pantyhose, I think it is, because it all seems to be like one piece. Okay, so next up is Romantic Notion. It's the same character, Olivia Chase. The back of her box has a beautiful little sketch of her. So let's see what the sides of the box have, shall we? The lid comes off just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. There is another piece of protective foam um, on top of her as well. And then we see a beautiful sketch of her on the side of the box. Lovely. Oh, cute. We see a little bit more 
of her facial profiles here on the side. Adorable. I'm like the most excited about her. I don't know why, but in the picture, she looks so, so magnificent. <laughs> One, two, and three. <gasps> oh my God. Yo. The first thing I'm drawn to on this doll is this beautiful kind of beigey, creamy colored dress. Um, many, many layers. I'm seeing some beautiful applique details here. I just love this color combination on her. It's so, so pretty. Oh my God, wow. There's some pearl details here on her decollete chest area. And it looks like she might be wearing a wig because the hair appears to be pulled off of her head. Um, so that's interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what that's about. But she has a little bit more of dramatic makeup here. Um, she also has a mani-pedi, which I love, and a pantyhose, it looks like. Her beautiful little shoes. Oh, wow, they're boots. They're lace boots. Oh, excuse me. <gasps> How beautiful are those? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The craftsmanship on these boots are gorgeous. Love, love, love. Uh, and then she has a little pearl necklace detail here. It looks perhaps like it could be like a multi-layered pearl necklace. So love that. How gorgeous. Let's go ahead and get this girl out of her box. And yes, I can definitely confirm that she is indeed wearing a wig because it is moving around on her head. <laughs> she too has the same doll stand, um, just like the other doll uh, located at the back of her box there. Oh, and there we go just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and get the little wig out of this hairnet here. Oh, this color. You guys know I love a blonde moment. Oh, wow. That is a beautiful little wig. Oh, there's a little wig cap inside and everything. Yes, details. Am I supposed to pull down on this? What's going on here? So there are two points on her head here, one on the forehead and then one here at the nape of her neck and there are corresponding little dots inside the wig. So you just line them up and put it on her. So lay the front down and then pull the back into place. <gasps> this dress! She appears to have the same exact body as the previous doll, um, exactly the same, just different makeup and she has the ability to have a wig. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. These are so pretty. Love that I do not have to actually uh, lace them up. Uh, there are little ribbons here that we can tie into a bow. So the whole thing functions with the zip and living for that. The craftsmanship, oh my goodness. Oh, love. That is some craftsmanship right there. Beautifully done. It's a base fabric with a layer of lace um, and then the whole thing appears to be stitched as, or treated as one. There's even an insole detail. That's like a beautiful beige color. Here is a romantic notion, Olivia Chase as moi. She's giving me like Kristen McEnemy. McEnemy, I can never say her last name correctly, but you guys know who I'm talking about, right? Like she's got the face, honey. <laughs> this outfit is magic, you guys. Colors are so beautiful on her. Uh, especially with this blonde hair. I love all the pearl detail. Um, a little heads up, the necklace is not so easy to get on. Literally ripped my fingers open trying to get that on. And the boots are definitely not easy to get on. Um, I feel like as with anything that has a zipper at, at the small scale, these shoes just right through here, her heel doesn't fit in as easily as you would think. Tore my fingers up. So just a little heads up on that. But outside of that, I am just absolutely freaking in love with this gown. Look at this movement. It's also giving me a little bit of like Dior from the Galliano days when he would do these beautiful like pleated tool, um, like pleats on pleats on pleats and layers and layers and layers. Gorgeous face, uh, a little bit more dramatic in the makeup department. Um, let me give you an up close of how her hair comes on and off. By the way, there's the clasp on the necklace turn that around and the hair just lifts off just like so. Um, she has two dots of Velcro here on her forehead and then here on the back. And then there are two little dots inside the wig cap as well. Beautifully constructed by the way. And then you just line them up just like so 
and pull the elastic down the back and it kind of falls into place. The gown itself has a couple of different components to it. There's a beautiful little underdress um, that we see uh, underneath all the beautiful tulle. It's in a very pretty like creamy charmeuse type of fabric here. Um, comes just above her knee. The tailoring on it is very pretty. The edges are finished off beautifully, which I can definitely appreciate. She too has that white pantyhose situation that the first doll had. Um, and then on top of that, we see um, the skirt detail here. There's two layers to the skirt. We have one layer here, very similar to like a petticoat um, that has two ruffles here on the bottom. Um, well, one, ruff, ru one ruffle, it's double tiered, so two different layers there. And then on top of that, we see the final layer. And I love how that's cut a little bit higher. It almost looks like it could be a tad bit darker than this layer here, but I'm wondering if it's just because of how it's laid. I don't know. Um, off camera, it looks like it could be a tad bit darker and it could be like two different tones of cream coming together. But anyway, um, I absolutely love, love, love this gown, you guys. This is a very Suresh. <laughs> uh, these little embroidery appliques here and these little flowers are darling and I love they follow her all the way around. By the way, there is Robert's label right there, our Tonner design. And then here is the back of the dress. Here we see silver snaps going all the way down. And then it looks like this top piece is one garment and then the little dress underneath that, the little strapless number is one piece. So that is beautiful. Love, love, love. What a gorgeous, gorgeous doll. And then let me give you a close up of her boots. They are so freaking pretty. Look at that. The lacing goes on the outside, according to the promo photos. Gave it a little bow up here. The colors are absolutely magnificent. Uh, they go with her dress so, so beautifully. And these boots as well have the beautiful beige sole, very indicative of a designer shoe. So last but not least, we have mixed media. And she too has the beautiful cream colored box. And then here in the back, we see a little tone on tone sketch of her. Let's go ahead and take the lid off here. And then we see a beautiful orangey red detailing here on the sides of the box. She too has that protective foam. Um, we see her little face here on the side and then details of her ensemble. We see her eyes there at the bottom. Um, and then another little portrait of her on the side. One, two, and three. Oh, her wig has come off, unfortunately, and it's giving me um, a very dramatic reveal. <laughs> a beautiful doll appears to be the same face and sculpt as the previous two dolls. She too has a removable wig, so that's exciting. Uh, beautiful black and silver little dress here with a little uh, gemstone detail belt buckle here at the center. And a gorgeous pair of boots here, black boots. Um, pretty tall as well. And then on the side here, we see a uh, little hand accessory details, like little hand warmers and two bracelets. Okay, let's go ahead and get this girl out of her box. So she lifts out just like the other two dolls. Um, like, so <laughs> here's our doll standing here. Let's go ahead and parse out these layers here. Okay. <laughs> there we go there we go okay i'm gonna go ahead and put this aside uh she too has the doll stand on the inside like the other two dolls do she does have little plastic bags wrapping her arms uh so that could be an indicator that this black fabric might uh bleed a little bit or they were scared that it would so they took some precautions here Ta-da! okay just like that. Okay, let's get this hairnet off of her hair. Uh, it is, okay, stuck here to the Velcro, just like so. And yeah, same wig situation as the previous doll. Little Vidal Sassoon bomb here, living, living. Robert definitely has a bit of a thing for redheads, I'm gathering. Here is Miss Mixed Media, up close and personal for you guys to get a better look at. She definitely has a very different vibe from the other two dolls, which I do love. 
Um, I will tell you, these boots, though gorge, are insanely difficult to get on. <laughs> and literally took me about 20 minutes of fandangoing. So there are no zippers or anything like that. So you have to unlace the boot very slowly and very carefully. And then uh, kind of very uh, <laughs> forcefully but gently shove her foot into the boot. So just a heads up on that. It will tear your fingers up a little bit. Um, but outside of that, she is quite lovely. She too has uh, a wig that is swappable. She has the same two little Velcro dots as the previous doll. She has pretty like greenish eyes to go with her gorgeous red hair. Love that crimsony toned glossy lip and a flush of blush as well. This fabric has a beautiful silvery sheen to it. Um, very kind of spray paint inspired looking. Um, I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the elastic belt. I feel like, though the buckle has um, an interesting POV, I don't love this. I feel like this is kind of cheapening the look a little bit. Um, fortunately, you can actually just snap it off. There you go. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if that's any better, but I don't know. I feel like maybe the absence of this uh, is a little bit better but anyway we'll keep it on for the sake of our uh, review here and then there are three different layers here on her dress uh, they are quite asymmetric towards the bottom so the, the latter two um, ruffles here are a bit on the asymmetric side and there is black tulle in between each of them one layer so that uh, creates this little bit of voluminousness and body which we love she has these very interesting like hand glove at details here that kind of cover up her um, wrist joints and then this beautiful gold bracelet detail um, i feel like i don't know just in my humble opinion i would have appreciated these in a silver perhaps while i like the two-tone detailing um, the silver here the silver everywhere on her dress um, is kind of clashing to me on the bracelet front but i appreciate a risk and uh, let's just say that she's a risk taker shall we <laughs> there's her beautiful uh painted mani very similar to her lip color um and she too has pantyhose except hers are black and then here is what the dress looks like underneath um it is lined in a very pretty kind of silvery whitish colored lining fabric which is beautiful very silky to the touch um, she does not appear to have that white uh, panty detail so that's good um, and then in terms of taking her dress off uh, there are snaps here along the back let's just see if we can see what the pantyhose top looks like yeah no okay perfect so no white panty detail there just the black pantyhose that go all the way up, in case you are wondering. Um, the craftsmanship is lovely. It um, feels nice and solid on the hand. Um, I don't know, like she definitely just has a very kind of rock and roll vibe to her, so I definitely get what the ensemble is about. There's also seam detail here on her stocking. Hard to tell if it's meant to go down the center of her leg because it kind of starts off at the side here. So I'm gathering it's kind of meant to be sort of like that. But all the same, um, yes, a beautiful doll. For those of you who are into um, more of a rocker chick vibe, this is the babe for ya. So there we have it, guys. This is the gorgeous new capsule collection uh, from Robert Tonner in partnership with Atomic Misfits. Uh, available exclusively at Sideshow Toys. I will put the link down below in my description box. Please be sure to check it out. If you guys are Robert Tonner fans, um, I hope you are really excited about this. This has a lot of the trademark details um, of Robert's dolls, so I'm really excited for you guys to check it out. If you have not experienced the 16-inch doll phenomena just yet, I encourage you to do so. These girls are each 180, and there are lots and lots of styling uh, possibilities. If you are into making doll clothes, uh, this is a much easier scale to make doll clothes on. You can do so much more fun things with this. The price point is very similar to Integrity, so if you are 
curious, I encourage you to check it out. They are absolutely beautiful. The craftsmanship is gorgeous. And I think you guys will really, really enjoy them. A big thank you again to Sideshow Toys and Robert Tonner for sending the, all these dolls my way. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses for me here in Seattle. Mwah! And I'll see you guys again, hopefully soon for another video. Okay, bye.